Uh, Helen Best, you've been the Botaco Institute Secretary for the last three years and you've got uh, significant experience in nursing, in education, uh, in the healthcare sector in general and I think you're in a very good position to understand just how difficult it is to gain acceptance for Botaco and you personally have played a very key role um, over the last few years, particularly in terms of your extensive abilities and experience in uh, documentation. Uh, for research, for training, for the introduction of the schools program in Australia. How have you found things over the last three years and how do you see things going in the future for Botaco? I'll just start with my introduction to Botaco. Um, was I heard of it back in the probably middle 1990s when I had a child with life-threatening allergy and asthma. But to my shame, I dismissed it. Um, for about 10 years thinking, well, if there was anything in it, the doctors would have told me and I didn't realise that um, they weren't familiar with it. So I ended up coming into it um, about some time later for my own health um, and was just blown away seeing not only helping my own condition, which was with chronic pain um, due to spasm with, associated with lupus and inflammation, from which I've now got back to about 90% well, so this was amazing enough, but to see all these people with asthma getting much better um, so quickly, it was quite amazing. Um, then when it came to my point of my retirement, um, I thought, well, what am I going to do with myself? And I was doing dementia respite work. And uh, then I got the opportunity to train with uh, Tess Graham. I thought, no, well, this would be a great thing to do as a, a part-time um, we do face a lot of challenges uh, in getting acceptance um, of the method. Um, I've, as Paul said, done quite a lot to try and uh, increase the professionalism and the um, uh, acceptability of our organisation as a professional organisation. I totally applaud the work that Jackie's doing. I think if we can get this um, uh, registered training organisation status. Uh, there's a lot of work to go through but it's a, a wonderful goal and I think will um, is probably the key to the future of the BIBH um, and um, the Botaco movement in this country if not in during the world. So uh, um, I think it's a bright future if we can uh, all work together and support each other and uh, um, bring the dream of Professor Botaco a bit closer to reality because we've a lot of us have felt the personal benefits um, and we want to bring those benefits available to so many more people. Great, thanks Helen. And, and lovely words uh, for our, um, our patron, our, our, who, who was our patron, uh, Professor Botaco.